Hello. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about pyramids of numbers. Now I actually prefer the term stacks of numbers, but we'll come back to that in a bit. I'll explain why. So you've already learned a little bit about food chains and food webs. And pyramids of numbers, or stacks of numbers, are a good way to convert a food chain like this one we see here into a graphical representation, a way we can see how many organisms are at each level of that food chain, each trophic level. So my food chain here, we start with the producer, which is the grass. We then have the snails, which are the primary consumer. And then we have our secondary consumer, which are the birds. And what we can do is we can draw a two scale pyramid to show this. So what I've got here is that pyramid. At the bottom level, the bottom trophic level is our producer. And what you'll notice is it is to scale. There are six large squares here, which correspond to the six grass, individual grass plants. Now, if I go up a trophic level to my primary consumer, I've got two large squares, which corresponds to my two snails. If I go up a trophic level again, I get to one bird. Now, these pyramids of numbers are useful for showing the number of organisms, but it doesn't show the amount of energy because the amount of energy as you go down up the food chain is getting less as, as energy is lost. Organisms are doing things like moving, respiring, excreting, growing, and that's using energy. So the amount of energy that is going from here to here is getting less. So there will be lots of energy here, not much, and then even less. Now, there is a problem with these pyramids of numbers. What if we've got one really large animal or organism as our producer? Well, you get a pyramid that looks a bit like this. So this pyramid of numbers is made for this food chain. We've got one really large tree. That is then fed upon by our primary consumer, the insects. And then the insects are fed upon by the birds. And in this case, we're only going to have one tree and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight insects and two birds. This one is not really a pyramid, it's more of a stack. And that's why I prefer the term stack of numbers to help you remember. So in this case, I've got one large square at the bottom to represent our one organism. It's a lot larger than the insects, but there are more insects. Hence why we've got a larger bar. And then we go up another trophic level and we have the birds. And there's only two of those feeding off the insects. So remember, pyramids of numbers show the number of organisms in each trophic level. And they don't always have to be pyramids.